I'm back out here with Farmer Dre. Farmer Dre's in the house <laughs> or in the pavilion. We're out here yeah. in our pavilion that we were even working on. I think last time we made a video, we were just getting started. So it is now finished. What's the size? So it is 105 by 50. And we still got to come through here and finish the grading, put some more soil and gravel and hopefully pour a concrete slab by next spring. And it's just out here, you know, hope slowly and surely, you know, Radu will tell you more details on different, you know, events and parties and stuff like that. And for the you pickers, you guys are customers. So you guys can have a place to stay here when you guys come out to the farm and pick your farm fresh fruit. So yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen with this. It's going to be a multi-purpose area for now. It's just going to be kind of a gathering place. Uh, for people who come out to the farm, we do a lot of farm tours with a lot of schools. So it would be a nice area just to kind of get together uh, under covered area so we don't get rain on. We got rain on a lot this last season. But anyways, this is going to be a multi-purpose area. So we got lots of ideas like farm to tables, uh, maybe a dinner out here. We want to do a lot of like classes and stuff like that. But stay tuned for details on that. That's coming soon. So let's go look at it from the outside real quick. It's pretty big. Um, but it's going to be, like I said, future future ideas on what's going on here so um as you can tell it's pretty big it's right behind me here it's right in front of the store but anyways you've done so many things since we've last been on uh, a farm update so let's go check out some other stuff we've done all right so i'm now here in the store and look at these pies what anyways you guys need pies and stuff for the holidays we got those as well but I'm here with our baker. Hello. Laura, how are you? I'm doing well. What have you been working on? I've been completing orders, just knocking things out, and doing my best to keep it going. So, yeah. Okay, just keep making sure. okay we have a bunch of loud people here in the store. Morning. Farmer Dre, we're... Hey! It's me! <laughs> of course, it's oh, Farmer Dre. Nice. We, got, <laughs> we got blueberry muffins. We got bagels over there. We got a whole thing full of pastries all the way back there. Anyways, the bakery's been pretty busy. The girls have been busy. We got Anna back here. Say hi, Anna. All right. So bakery's been busy. They're here every single day. If you guys want to see what they do, check it out. Um, yeah. Let's go see what else is going on. They don't do much in here. All right. So we are out. Whoa, we got... We got this thing finally done. How long did it take us? So it we started bidding in the post for the sidewalls back in August. And then three weeks ago, we got it done. So as you can imagine, we were just so busy at that point of time that, you know, we started and between going on the markets and, you know, just going back and forth. But now, as you guys can see here, it's finished and ready to go. So what are we going to grow in here mostly, Farmer Dre? So for now, we got a big demand for uh, farm fresh tomatoes. So in spring of 2020, we're going to plant it with tomatoes. And then as, as, as we get more and more high tonnage on the farm, we're gonna start diversifying other uh, crops and stuff, cucumbers, peppers, and all kinds of other good stuff as well. So Okay, so really cool. Let's go inside because we got a pretty cool surprise. I know uh, we were talking about this for a long time, but things happen when they happen. It's hard to tell. But remember we talked about apple wood chip? You guys have probably seen some videos and pictures already online, but here we are, Farmer Dre. Yes. What is this? So we got about 36 apple bins of wood chips. And if you guys uh, seen our stories, you guys know that this is a few weeks ago. We got done shredding it all. All we did is got the big old logs, put them in a, uh, a wood chipper, put them in these bins and put them in this high tunnel for now until they dry up a little. So you go ahead and bag them. And then Radu and Adrian, they've been, you know, posting everywhere, you know, trying to get the marketing done for this because we know a lot of people who smoke meat. You know use a lot of apple wood so we could have just burnt it but then we're burning away money and you know us as farmers are trying to be as sustainable as we can and just trying to make the most as we can for for us as a seasonal business as a seasonal farmer so this is helping us out and you know it's just if you guys like apple wood chips it's here we got plenty of it yeah so as farmer dre mentioned if anybody's interested we got plenty of apple wood chip we also have logs available uh, so if anybody wants to make gifts, we got one pound bags and four pound bags. And if you, anybody needs any more than that, then just shoot us a message. Let us know. Um, yeah. Also, since we're talking about Applewood, we finally got our Applewood pens done. Yes. So we'll have a link to that to the website probably in the next couple of days. But as of right now, um, 
I'm going to put some pictures here on the screen as I'm talking. It's all made from applewood grown right here at Gardner's Orchard. A lot of it's been on the farm for over 30 years. Uh, so we've partnered up with um, some local craftsmen here and they are making um, all the wood. Everything's handcrafted. Everything's made from scratch. So we have uh, different finishes as far as like doing a gold or a gunmetal or just a matte black, stuff like that. And then we have different types of pens. And then we also have some accessories that come with it, cases and stuff like that. Uh, let us know if anybody's interested. We'll have a link to that coming very soon. I know it's kind of short notice before Christmas, but if anybody needs one now, uh, just shoot us a message and we can take care of that. So um, that's that. What else did you get started? I heard that you got some tomatoes started, Farmer Dre. Yeah, so you guys know, you know, I'm I'm a 20-year-old farmer, always excited. So I went ahead and started a 2020s tomato plants and, you know, they're growing. I can't tell you guys where because that's a secret, but <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, we started tomatoes. That means 2020 is right around the corner. We know the New Year's is in a couple of weeks, but you know, you got to get started early, you know, to be able to, to get them in the ground and early, the earlier, the better. You know, our customers know that we like to get stuff started and you know, they just love farm fresh tomatoes. So we got one ahead and got started. All right. Yes. Yeah, so farm fresh tomatoes are already started. So 2020's crop is already in the works right now um okay we're gonna end it here today thanks for watching we appreciate every single one of you if we don't see you guys till next year happy new year merry christmas um and thank you so much for everything you guys have done we're very 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 grateful for all the support we yes. re received we re received this year wow speaking slowly and if you guys don't know you guys can follow us on our instagram and facebook stories we post regular there uh, regularly there and then farmer dre does have a youtube video you guys probably know and he posts videos every single week yeah. on his YouTube channel at Farmer Dre. And you guys can see pretty much detailed information on what happens on the farm every yeah. week. He posts hey, every single week. If you guys are week. interested in learning more about fruit production or just, you know, tomato production, I do post educational videos. So, like, today I'm actually filming a video on pruning young apple trees. So, if you guys are a home gardener and have a few trees on your farm, at your house, at your homestead, you know, just if you guys are interested in that, just hook me up at Farmer Dre on YouTube. And I do all kinds of stuff, you know. Any everything we do here on the farm is on my YouTube channel, so you guys go ahead and check it out, you know. So it's all right. Yes. So that's uh, if you guys want to stay connected with what we do, check it out. Otherwise, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.